What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Neek. Welcome back to Uncommon Cool TV. Before you get into this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate y'all coming back through the channel. So today, this video is going to be about a rookie taking the NFL by storm. He goes by the name of Puka Nakua, the rookie fifth round receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. He currently setting the NFL on fire and... I don't think this is a fluke. I don't think this is a fluke. Puka Nakua is a fifth round pick out of BYU. He was the 20th receiver taken in the 2023 draft. He currently is first in catches in the NFL. He's second in yards and he's breaking records already as a rookie. Breaking NFL records, the stuff that he's doing in two games has not been done before by an NFL player. So, is 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 this the real deal? Is it a fluke? I'm going to explain later in this video why I don't think it's a fluke. But first, let me just list off some things that he's done so far in just two NFL games. In just two NFL games. He's literally making history almost every time he steps on the field. So, through two weeks, he has 25 catches for 266 yards. Like, first in catches and, and, and second in yards, respect, respectfully. Uh, and his last game against the San Francisco 49ers, he had 15 catches, which is the most ever by a rookie in league history in the game. Um, 25 is the most catches by a rookie ever in their first two games. He's the first player ever with 10 catches with at least 10 catches and 100 yards in their first two games. And the fourth player in NFL history with 100 yards in their first two games. After two weeks, being first in catches and second in yards, the only person he sits behind, as far as yards go, since he's number one in catches, is Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson, who's arguably the best wide receiver in the NFL right now. Most people, 98% of people you ask, if you ask who the best wide receiver is, they're most likely going to say Justin Jefferson. So Puka Nakua, a.k.a. his teammates call him Puka Doncic. The Rams, his Rams teammates call him Puka Doncic. <laughs> so, you know, you could take that nickname for what it is. But what Puka is doing is not something that's normal. And I know a lot of people, either in the fantasy community or if you are a hardcore football fan and wondering, hey, you know, is this guy a fluke? Uh, I don't know about this guy. You know, can he keep this up? I think that it's very possible that Puka could be on his way to having a memorable Rookie season, one of the most memorable rookie seasons we've seen by a rookie receiver in a long time. And it all comes down to this. I don't think it's no secret sauce. I don't think it's no no any anything in particular that's out of the ordinary that's making him as successful as he is right now. I think it's simply his work ethic. Simply his work ethic. And his in in and where he landed. I I believe he landed in the perfect place in LA. With McVay, a top five offensive play caller, and Matthew Stafford, who's every bit of a top ten quarterback right now, as he, at, at the way he's playing and, and as healthy as he's been. So when you when you add in his work ethic, having a top three play caller and a top ten quarterback, that sounds like a recipe for success for me. Now I know everybody has questions. Cooper Cup has not been playing. And he won't come back for maybe a couple more weeks. So I think it's fair to question, is he going to keep it up when Cooper Cup comes back? But we have to remember, guys can eat. More than one person can eat in this McVay offense. More than one person can eat in this McVay offense. I know is everything has been Cooper Cup the past two years since Stafford's been there. But prior to these last two years, Robert Woods had been standing out. Brandon Cooks, when he was there, had successful seasons in the Rams offense, like this offense is multiple. And I definitely believe that Puka could keep this up. He's already built the rapport with Cup and Stafford. And they all, they all haven't even been on the NFL field yet. Coop, Cooper Cup 
And Matthew Stafford used to, ha, does this thing called the Breakfast Club, where every morning they come in, they watch film together, they go through things, um, you know, they they yeah they go through film, they learn things about each other, what things they want to do on a play, what things they don't want to do on a play, what things they might change in a play. Only Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford used to do this one. Matthew Stafford first got traded to the Rams in um, two seasons ago. Now reports have come out. That Puka has now joined them. He's earned the trust of Cooper Cup and Matthew Stafford to be a part of the quote unquote breakfast club now. And to be able to do that as a rookie, not even two games into your rookie season, I think that speaks to how special Puka is. So for anybody out there doubting, could he keep this up? I would probably bet on him keeping it up. I would bet on him keeping it up. And with that being said, if you look around the league, he's catching the eyes of many people around the league. And so much so that in the betting market, he shot up to the third best odds right now to be the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Now, I personally believe that's Bijan's award to lose. But if Puka Nakua keeps this up and he's breaking records literally every time he steps on the field, it's going to be hard to, to, to not give him that award. So I just want to put this video out there to say for anybody doubting Puka Nakur, I would kind of bet on him being this consistent. Now, he, he might not have as many catches or as many yards as he's been having, but I do think what we've seen, what we've seen from him is not fluke. I think he's a good player. I think he's a solid player. And I think he's just, I think the, the arrow is just going to keep continuing to point up. So, um, Puka, he's he's setting NFL history every time he steps on the field, and he might continue to do so until otherwise. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. So I appreciate y'all coming through, checking out the video. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button. I'll holler at y'all later.